Hey, this is the richest guy in the world from crypto, and you don't even know him. Hi, my name is CZ. He made over 60 billion dollars, but his mom still called him stupid. Let me tell you his incredible story. Were you shocked that it got so big? Yes, I was. CZ is just a normal guy. He was born in China, grew up in Vancouver, Canada, and now lives in Dubai. But his incredible story starts at a poker table in 2013. He was playing poker with a few of his friends when one of them said hey have you heard about the bitcoin the bitcoin back then was new and cz didn't know about it so when i first of all heard about bitcoin i was like bitcoin what is it the name sounded good bitcoin that was a like really great naming and two of my friends were talking about this is the internet money for the internet and uh, i was like uh, this is this is fascinating most humans would keep playing poker and make fun of Bitcoin. But CZ did not. He wanted to understand it. He downloaded the white paper of Bitcoin, printed it, and read every single word. Uh, this white paper is only nine pages long, but I knew this is the future for money. Few months later, he became convinced. I became convinced that cryptocurrency is going to be the future and it's going to stay. When I first used the email, um, you know, I knew that it was going to stay. It was so much easier. When you first use social media, you, you just knew. And when, when, when I came across Bitcoin, I knew this was going to stay. His conviction was so, so strong that he sold his entire apartment and invested it in Bitcoin. One million dollars. And what did his poker friends think? Most of my friends thought I was crazy because I was selling an apartment in Shanghai uh, to go into all, in, all into crypto and I was quitting my job. So I was jobless, homeless. Uh, by most people's definitions, that is crazy. And they were right. He was crazy. In the next two months, Bitcoin crashed by 70% and he lost $700,000. Even his own mother told him he was a stupid kid for wasting so much money. Uh, so my mom's like, you stupid kid, and um, how, how, you, like, why couldn't you be like other people, get a you know, nice job in a corporate? Bitcoin cryptocurrencies back in 2013, 2014, for me, was one of those really unique opportunities where it was early stage. Only a small number of people got it, and it's going to be a huge future. So I told myself, I'm not going to miss it. That was an opportunity of a lifetime. He stopped playing poker. He stopped all his hobbies. He quit his job. He left his friends and spent 9 a.m. to midnight, seven days a week for five years working on blockchain technology. Eventually, he started a crypto exchange called Binance, where people can buy and sell crypto to each other. And that blew up. In five years, Binance became the biggest crypto exchange in the world with more than 100 million users. Were you shocked that it got so big? Yes, I was. Originally, when we started, I told my team, let's aim for like the worst top 10 exchange in three years. But we got there in six months, in the top one. Binance became so big that it made CZ the richest man in crypto, worth over $60 billion in five years. How do you feel about having so much money? I don't think money is the most important factor. I don't focus on that. Um, I focus on building products people use, how to make that the most efficient, most impactful thing for the world. This story is not about crypto and it's not about making money. In fact, CZ doesn't care about money. Look at his clothes. Priceless. He has no fancy clothes or cars and he plans to donate his wealth to charity. This story is about conviction. If you're starting a company or a YouTube channel or a new career, you gotta have conviction that it will work even when your mom thinks what you're doing is stupid. When you know you're right, you just gotta have the stamina to last until the rest of the population catches up.
CZ had conviction in Bitcoin, became the richest person, and changed the world of finance. Now imagine what you can do if you truly believed in something. We're done. Thank you. We're done.